All right, what's going on guys? It's your boy Zilchi. Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. In this video right here, we're gonna be talking about the new updated artifacts for Sung Jinu and what it actually does for him, what it gives him in terms of like the new eight set effects, stuff like that, and why it really works with his build that we have for pure strength here. So in a way, this is his new best build with the new artifacts that's out in the game, because again, they are very brand new and they're very powerful you can only get them from the shop and the workshop of brilliant light and in order to unlock the workshop of brilliant light you need to be a battle tier 19 and you need to complete the story mode chapter 18 completed right so before we hop in if you guys do enjoy this video enjoyed the recent videos that i have been posting hit that like button comment share and subscribe we are on the goal to surpassing mr beast i feel like we can do it just a little bit more guys 200 million more and we're right there as well as if you guys are not in the discord server i do have a discord the link will be in the description below i would love to see a lot of new faces that to talk to in the server i do talk to everyone that joins and i'm pretty active in there so if you guys want to talk to me definitely join the server link in the description and let's just hop straight into it all right so went ahead and switched to his training outfit right here this is like his daily just casual training outfit right so i went ahead and switched into it because we're going to be talking about his best build and as you guys know his best build overall is just everything into strength and just leave everything else blank okay and i do have a specific video a separate video talking about why this is the case but we can go ahead and talk about it really quick uh everything into strength because this is the only stat in the game that the red zone actually doesn't affect right so well i wouldn't say the only stat because it doesn't actually affect uh, vitality and intelligence but perception and agility which is arguably another very good um build for him it does affect right so if you put everything into strength it won't really affect you here if you're in the red zone a lot uh if you put it into agility you'll see that you're not getting as many crits as usual if you put it into perception you'll notice that your your um, perception your precision is just not as high as it should be right so if you put everything into strength that actually isn't scaled down or up it's just raw damage that you have and it doesn't get affected right obviously if you have your weapons and stuff like that that will enhance the strength that you have and that's exactly why i feel like one and one together so again everything into strength you don't need to do anything in terms of uh, agility because you get that from your artifacts which we will be talking about the new artifacts as well uh perception you get from your weapons intelligence you get that from your sometimes your weapons i believe and as well as the artifacts and same thing with vitality so there we go now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the artifacts here right so if we go over here i have two of them equipped now because i'm still farming for the other ones um i have this one equipped which is the burning curse one uh the other one is also very i i honestly you can't go wrong with running either of these sets all right i do think personally i'm going to be running the burning curse one i'm going to tell you guys why let's read what it does uh two set effect applies the curse effect increases damage taken by 20 percent increases damage dealt by 10 percent and additionally increases damage dealt by 0.1 every one second and it stacks up to 100 times all right so that's all that's very good all right? it's a permanent stack that you get 100 times right there so increased damage we have everything in pure strength this is just perfect for us uh four set effect applies the rescue effect Incre if the user has 25 percent hp or less they recover 25 percent of their hp activate only once per dungeon okay that's fine the eight set effect the curse effect enhances the burning curse increases the user's damage taken by 20 percent increases the user's damage dealt by 30 percent whereas this was 10 percent right here and additionally increases damage dealt by 0.2% every one second. So we're doing a lot, basically we're doing a lot more damage once we get the eight set effect. And that's what I'm going for here. The other set arguably could be better. I do think the other set is a little slightly better if you're running the crit build, right? We're gonna talk about that in a second. But for me right now, I think this is the best set for me to go with. And what you wanna hunt for with these is the crit rate, right? Right now, none of these give me crit rate, unfortunately. So I had to stick with two of these being crit rate and crit damage until I can farm better pieces that give me the crit rate and attack. So keep that in mind. When you are farming for these pieces, you want to get the stats that give you crit rate and crit damage and attack and attack percent. It looks like the game is actually portraying attack percent in Sung Jinu's attack. 
uh, overall, by the way. Like, the, I noticed this this morning. Uh, when I got rid of my attack percent uh, piece, but I kept my additional attack the same, the attack actually went down to 16,000 something. And when I put the attack percent back, it went up to 17,900. So I do believe that it's finally showing the attack percent. So that's very good on their part right here. So yeah, I, uh, Burning Curse, number one oh, set no. for me, in my opinion right now, to use for Sung Junior. All right, so let's take a look at his other one here. Uh, I don't know if I actually do have it. Let's see. I think I have one. This. All right, so it's the burning greed let's read what it does two set effect when the user hits a target with an attack that deals break damage it applies the greed effect it increases the user's critical hit rate by one percent stacking up to 10 times right so as a permanent stack so you get a 10 percent crit hit rate stack for uh to cool down is 1.5 seconds each time so it's very very good right uh four set when the greed effect stacks 10 times it changes to enhance greed. Enhance greed is increases the user and their team members critical hit rate by 10% and their crit hit damage by 15%. Greed becomes unavailable after enhance greed has been activated. So this is done. All right, so after we get this, this is gone, all right? Well, that's okay because we get that 15% increase in damage and crit hit rate, so it's very good. Uh, eight set effect, when attacking enemies that have the elemental weakness the break effect increases by 30 percent this is actually very strong all right especially against bosses for example the newest boss in the game the vulcan this is so good because you need to get rid of his um his break as quickly as possible so you don't run out of time because he's very tanky with that on there so yeah this is very good 30 percent increase in that is super strong uh enhances burning greed uh, burning greed is increases the user and their team members critical hit rate by 15% and crit hit damage by 30% uh, Greed becomes unavailable after burning greed has been activated and hence greed also becomes unavailable Duration is permanent. So once you get the eight set effect This is what we're getting. All right. So again This set is very good for the crit the crit rate set or just a crit build in general but I do feel like the burning set right here, the burning curse is a lot better just for the fact that you have all of your points into straight up damage. So why not just max out the damage as you can? You know what I'm saying? Cause you're gonna get your crit rates from the artifact pieces anyway. So it, I don't think it really matters if you're getting the extra from the, the artifact. So it, in a sense, the other one is exactly like the toughness set. However, I have been leaning more towards the armed set being a slightly better. And again, it's for the simple fact that we have all of our points into strength, right? And it gives you a lot more attack overall. So yeah, I do believe that is his new best sets or his new best build, which is just everything into strength. And you're going to run the burning curse uh, on him. And then you should see yourself doing a lot more damage and it should help you a lot during the new fight let's take a look at that real quick let's take a look at that really quick i do have a video on the channel i do have a video on the channel uh taking on the easy mode of this fight i am definitely not strong enough to do this hard mode or normal mode and if hard is in the game 100 percent not even gonna attempt that we're gonna farm easy we're gonna get what we can if we can get lucky and get these pieces and get the right pieces that we need we're gonna go ahead and farm the uh the normal mode as well but if you guys want to see a guide on this mode definitely let me know because i actually have been playing it a little bit and i do know some tricks and tips that i could give you guys on it to help you guys farm better if you are stuck at a certain part i could release stuff like that as well um free to play players i know for a fact all right i know for a fact Cerberus is probably the the part that you're gonna be stuck at. All right, uh, the second stage, I lied. You're gonna be able to beat Cerberus barely, but the second stage of it, you you're gonna struggle with. All right, so if you guys want a guide on that as well, definitely let me know in the comments and I'll get that done for you guys. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the Discord if you aren't already in there, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.